Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Lost Ark video and today I'm going to be explaining to you guys what you need to do if you want to have five level three engravings in Lost Ark. This is something that I feel like a lot of people are kind of confused about or they need a little bit of guidance because now they're reaching that 1415 eye level and now you can transition from your 333 or 43s even into a 53 build setup. And this is a build that you'll probably have for a very, very, very long time. So I've prepared some documents to show you and kind of help you visualize what you need to do and the things you need. But if you guys still have any questions after watching this video, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below and I would be happy to answer them. You can also come by my stream. I've been streaming a lot more often on Twitch. A uh, link will be in the description for that. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. So the first thing that I have to show you guys here is um, something that if you've been on my stream or you watch my previous videos on, you will have seen this before, but it is essentially a spreadsheet that I use to plan out my uh, accessories that I'm going to buy in my engravings. So in this example, I'm going to be building a Mayhem Zerker, which of course is not a cheap class <laughs> to build as you can see. But if you want to have five level three engravings, the bottom of the line is that each engraving costs 15 points. So 15 times five, that's 75. If you are using relic accessories, you can get plus five into one engraving and plus three from another, which if you have maxed out on all your relic accessories, that's a total of 40 points that you can get from your accessories. So you need to get the remaining 35 from a combination of your books and your stone. The easiest, most effective, and cheapest way to do this is to have one legendary engraving, aka one golden book, equipable engraving, one nine, which everybody should have at this point, and a seven seven stone. So a seven seven stone is kind of hard to get, but it is a lot easier to get than the alternative, which is if you don't have a legendary engraving to use, and you only have both plus nines, it's just not possible. So realistically, you would have to roll a 9-9 stone, which is not realistic. So this is what I recommend everybody does. Just roll um, a 7-7 seven, seven stone, use a purple and a legendary class or, you know, general engraving, whichever one is cheapest. So I would take a look at the build, look at the accessories that you, or sorry, the engravings that you want to run, and try to find the cheapest one on the market for the books. And honestly, don't even buy them right now, as of the time of the upload of this video. Wait until the market changes a little bit. Once the bridge comes out, it'll make things way, way cheaper. So anyway, this is not a gold saving guide. So we're just going to pretend that we're Omega Whales and we can just afford to buy a plus 12 grudge. Okay, it doesn't matter which one of these. The process is the same. So let's just say we have 12 grudge and then we have a 9 curse doll. So you want to roll a stone that is not your equipped engravings. So if I'm going to be using grudge books and I'm going to be using cursed doll books, you're going to want to roll a stone that is keen blunt and master's tenacity for this example. Obviously stones cannot roll for your class engraving. So your class engraving is most likely going to be the one that you need the most accessories for. And if that is too expensive, then you can always just equip that class engraving. So I could just roll mayhem nine here and then I would just need to have uh, cursed all so whichever one is cheapest for you it doesn't really matter you know as long as you can get this setup right here which is one legendary one purple and then the two sevens what this means and in order to turn this into a five three you need to have a plus three accessory on the same uh, engraving that you have legendary books for that much is obvious you also need to have plus five on both of the engravings that you rolled on your stone. So if you have in, in this example, a uh, seven keen blunt stone and seven master's tenacity, you also need to have a plus five keen blunt and a plus five master's tenacity accessory. So this will bring you to 15, nine, 12, 12, zero. Now to finish filling this out, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that for the engraving that you have literally zero on, that is going to have to be plus five on three separate accessories. So you see here, I roll or I, I equipped uh, Grudge three, in Blunt five. I put plus five on Master's Tenacity. I cannot put 
three into the engraving that has none because otherwise i will not be able to max it out so you put it on the other one which in this case is cursed all so now that you have that it becomes a lot easier you just put five in that engraving three in this one five in the other one three in this one and then one by one you fill them out this is why it's so expensive to have a five three because you need to have plus five on these now obviously this combination is just you know me fabricating it it could be anything it could be a necklace it could be an earring but as long as the distribution is this way you have plus five and plus three on the stone engravings and you have three plus fives in the empty one and you have a plus three and two plus threes on your equipped books you'll have five three no matter what now the process is the same but i made another example here just to show you with um enhanced weapon deadeye and enhanced weapon deadeye and pistol you know uh peacemaker gunslinger are built the same way where they only really want one level from their class engraving because it's so efficient so for this example of this enhanced weapon deadeye build i'm running grudge in blunt masters amb or sorry ambush master cursed all adrenaline and enhanced weapon so instead of five threes i'm gonna have four threes so all these are gonna be maxed out I'm going to have two levels of adrenaline and one level of enhanced weapon. So what does this mean when you're planning out a build like this? So we have slightly different rules for this setup. The first one is that obviously for your class engraving, you only need one level. You're not going to use the books for that. And you obviously can't roll a stone for your class engraving. So the only way that you get this is by rolling a plus five accessory. You have to roll a plus five class engraving accessory in order to pull off a four, three, two, one setup. So now that we have this set up, just to give you guys an idea of how you would fill it out, same thing. Let's just say I have an enhanced weapon grudge three necklace, and then I roll a keen blunt. Like I said, remember, the same rules still apply. If you have the books, you cannot roll plus five on this. So let's just do Keen Blunt 3, Ambush 5. Let's do Cursed All 3, Keen Blunt 3. And then let's do Adrenaline. Oh, that's the wrong spot. Let's do Adrenaline 5, Master Ambush 3. And then Cursed All 3, Adrenaline 5. And there you have a 4 3 2 1 setup. I took the liberty of making a little visual in Photoshop of how you would distribute your points. Hopefully this helps some people. But uh, as you can see here, the books, you have the 12 nodes um, for Grudge in this example and the nine nodes from Keen Blunt. So you're getting the two other six points that you get from two other accessories that also rolled plus three. And then for Cursed All, this is your uh, stone, your plus seven stone. So you need to roll a plus five on both of these in order to do this so in this case i got it from the earring and the necklace and then the remaining levels here as you can see you roll plus five adrenaline plus five um enhanced weapon and there you go so it's really that simple but i feel like a lot of people just just don't know or they didn't know so i wanted to kind of go through it and uh, hopefully that answers your guys's questions like i said if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.